Students from Stowers Elementary School Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math class designed a catapult to shoot pumpkins into the sky. The design process started from the ground up. Students used LEGO robots to build catapults. They were able to manipulate the robots so they could see how different configurations would affect the pumpkin's projectile path. When I said, well, you had to learn how to um, measure an angle or identify different types of angles, they were really eager to learn because they knew that they would have to use the skill when it came to actually building the project. With hard hats on, students were split up into three groups with a structural engineer advising each group. Students applied skills they learned in class to create the catapult. The engineers helped them measure and use protractors to mark angles that needed to be cut. We showed them different things like keeping it square, keeping it level, and we assembled it just like the plans. And then after we tried it a few times, the axle was bending, so we got a heavier piece of steel and they learned that things just don't always work like you plan. After a couple of failed catapult attempts, the engineers collaborated to see how they could improve the design. They've sat here and actually problem solved themselves. A lot of times the catapult would stump them, so um, the, the students were actually able to see how they work through problems and how um, failure is not an option. They had to keep improving their um, project to make it the best that they could. Students gathered and analyzed data by measuring the distance the pumpkins had been thrown, exposing them to using proper units when measuring length. This is something you can bring to real life situation. It's not necessarily a right or wrong answer. Is I'm thinking. I have to think of how to build. It's not why my pumpkins are not going far. Why it's not enough tension in the catapult. Is that higher order thinking skill that we need to teach our students. It's not all about multiple choice anymore. After the pumpkins were chucked and measured, they were laid to rest in the pumpkin graveyard. Oh, disgusting. Stowers Elementary is planning on making this an annual event and using the data collected each year to improve future catapults. Right, ready? Yes! Yeah. Right. Katie Cook, Fort Benning TV.